everybody, this is Kevin Tomlinson with your DDD Answers. This time we're going to look at something kind of cool. This is going to go pretty quick, so hang on to your seats. We're going to take a look at a brand new feature, promo pricing. Now, here's how this starts. When you log in to your books page here on Draft Digital, you click on my books, you've got your uh, titles here. You can go take a look at, uh, you got these little icons over here, you can go take a look at the... Uh, ebook uh prints uh, print uh, when prints available audiobooks that sort of thing you'll notice of course there's this promotion tab down here very exciting for a number of reasons this is where you can get your uh your ubl edit the ubl that sort of thing look at your book tab but we just added this new scheduled promotion tool and this is uh, by far a highly requested <laughs> feature. Uh, this is going to allow you to change your book pricing on a schedule. So let's take a look at how it works. First of all, first up, we're going to be over here uh, in this section, promotion details. Now there are a couple ways to get into this. There's a big glowing button here, schedule promotion. When you click on that, it opens this. Um, basically, it opens this little drop down. You can get to the same thing by clicking right here. Now you'll see your current price for the book. Six ninety nine, and your projected royalties. That's your current royalties and projected royalties. Uh, right from here, you can uh, change this price. Now I want to hover over this little box for a second, though. The scheduled promotions. This is the uh, the pop up that tells you what this is all about. Price changes are sent as early as possible on the day the promotion starts. On the last day of your promotion, price changes are sent as late in the day as possible, and this should give you a maximum coverage time during your promotion window. So you get to, uh, we, we're gonna do our best to make sure that this is, you're gonna get the most out of your promotion date. <laughs> so back over here in the schedule and ebook promotion price box, uh, we set all the current stuff. Now we can set our new price. So let's say we're gonna set this for $2.99. And uh, you can name your promotion this name, okay, I'm going to read this off to you. This name is not sent to storefronts. It's only used to help you remember why this, pri why this price and why this date. Um, so this is just a reminder for you, okay? So you may have multiple promotions going. You may, ha may schedule them well in advance. Uh, so this will help you keep track of all that. Now, you can type in any name you want. I'm going to type in Thriller Promo. Uh, and we'll say January. Let's say that I'm going to have multiples. We're going to do January. So my start date. I'm going to pick January 25th as my start date. And I'm going to run this for 30 days. So I'm going to pick February 25th. Now, as this is set up now, from the 25th of January to the 25th of February, I have uh, my price is going to be set at $2.99, which will give me a projected royalty of $1.78. All right? So you can see the difference between my current royalty and projected royalty. So this is a promo. And now I'm going to hit schedule promo price. You get this pop up. Are you sure you want to change your digital price to $2.99 for January 25th through February 25th, 2019? So I can verify the dates that I've set. If I've made a mistake, I can go back and change that. This will not affect library prices. That's important to know. This is only affecting the retail prices for the... Uh, for our sales channels and please allow one to three business days for this change to go live at all channels so that uh, the basically what you want to make sure you're doing is setting this promo up well in advance of when it's going to go live at least three days <laughs> give yourself three days uh, you don't want to cut these close to the wire now we know sometimes people have promotions come up unexpectedly so you you need a minimum of one day uh, gap in there but uh, some of our some of our channels take their time so you want to make sure you give yourself as much of a buffer as possible so one to three business days is good uh, but further out is even better if you can uh, manage it so you'll hit submit unless this is wrong and then you'd hit cancel but we're gonna say this is right all this is right now you'll see all everything dropped away but over here we now have that promotion uh, this is a cool little tab because let's say I saw this and I said, oh, I did not mean for it to be $2.99. I meant for it to be 99 cents. So I can click the little edit button. I can come over here. I can change the price. I can update promotional price, resubmit it, and boom. Now I have a thriller promo in January for 99 cents. 
I can schedule another one. Let's go do another one real quick. We're gonna say $1.99. Oops, oops, gotta get my typing fingers working. Okay, and uh, let's say that this one is gonna be in March. Uh, we're gonna start on March 15th and we're gonna end it on April 1st, all right? And we schedule our promo price. Actually, I did not type a name for this one. I typed the name in the wrong place. <laughs> That's a goof on my part. Okay, so now we're gonna say uh, March promo at $1.99. Got it all right now, I've checked it. I'm gonna get, that was meant to be 99 cents, was it? No, it's not. $1.99, I'm gonna get $1.18 predicted royalty. I'm gonna hit schedule the promo. I'm gonna hit submit. And now I have a second promo. Now, uh, in reviewing this, I decide, you know what? I don't, I'm not gonna do the second promo after all. So I'm gonna hit delete. So are you sure you want to delete your promotional price of $1.99, March 15th through April 1st, 2019? I can uh, keep it by hitting cancel, or I can go ahead with this and hit submit. And there we go. Disappears right out of that menu. So that is promotional pricing. And if you are uh, scheduling these promos in advance, uh, this is going to be a really helpful tool for you. This will change the price at all the actual sales channels, not the library channels. But uh, any of the other sales channels, including Barnes & Noble, Amazon, you name it. So that's going to be it. I hope you enjoyed this one. And uh, get out there and get, your, the, get those promos going. Good luck to you.